The children that we worked with today were children that often puzzle teachers. And the teachers, well, they're in second grade and they're having trouble reading short vowel words. And they're in kindergarten and they don't know their letters and it's the end of the year. What's really hopeful for me about this is that it is the rare struggling reader that we can't figure out what to do and then teach them. The real trick is figuring out specifically what their problem is. Not he can't read multisyllable words, but he guesses a multisyllable word, but he's fine at short vowels. Okay, now I know, all right. He can read multisyllable words, I just have to teach him how. He doesn't know his letter names and he's in kindergarten and we've worked with the letter V a hundred times. Well, it might take 500 times, but here's the thing we, we figured out. The problem with letter V went back to not being able to retrieve the sound V, the name of the letter, because it wasn't in the letter song. If we can find out the specific problem, we can go back to the basics and whatever the most basic problem is, we can fix that. What's really wonderful as a reading specialist who gets to work with lots of different students, sometimes it takes a lot of time and that happens, the kids learn to read eventually. But sometimes you fix one little problem and the whole thing falls together. The trick is finding what they need and starting there. No matter the student's age, if I get a student who has trouble with G and J in third grade, that's where I start with G and J. I start at the lowest level. And that's what we've got to be able to do is pinpoint problems, practice them, and practice those problems to mastery. Because the reason the student isn't learning is because they haven't learned something to mastery. And every one of these students can be very strong readers.